Where are we going, you guys? University. For what? University. <laughs> For what, Carolina? For the engineering expo. What street uh -huh. is this? 116th Street? 116th Street. Hold on here. Let me fix your hood. Let me fix your hood. Oh, it's so nice. I love all the trees. Aren't they nice? Mm -hmm. Look what they have now. Okay. That you can enter yourself into. You just get a staff from each of the four disciplines upstairs. On the stamp, on this? Yeah. So Boys, grab one of these yeah. from her. Yeah. Higher chance of winning. Do you like to tell her it's not price to win? Yeah, for him. Yeah. He, he'll take one, yeah. Hi. Connor. Thank you. Crashed a few times? Yeah. Oh yeah, this one took a few good falls. The first day of competition we did cast lights and we went and oh, yeah. down. And we wrecked about like this much of it. We had to rebuild it in the hotel room. Nice. It was a long night. But uh, after that little event, we actually uh, came third on this plane that year. When it was a little less beaten up, but it was good competition. Basically got limited thrust in the front limited dimensions, so it comes down to who can design the most aerodynamically efficient. With, within specs. Yeah. So who, and that comes down to who can lift the most weight. So you try to load it up with as much weight as you can. Oh, yeah. circuit. We compete against 20 teams internationally, or 20 different countries, 200 teams. Um, so it actually flies. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, of course now, this year we're going with the gas motor and quite a bit bigger, about a four meter wingspan. We got carbon fiber and stuff. We weren't allowed that to be a competition that we this year. Mm. Yeah, pretty exciting for this year. All right, on. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Lego to build something like that, don't you? How long did it take to build that? Well, it, uh, it took us like four or five months just to design the whole thing. Say this one is the best model, so then we went for the design. Yeah. The design is not that difficult, but the programming part is quite interesting because right. my storm cannot do a lot of things. What we want is uh, parts. We can just have a 3D model and we just print it directly. Here. So at the moment the filament is not working because we cannot plug this to heat it because the electricity we don't have it. We could have find out. You can see how that much it moves. Pretty neat. You like it? He's like, yeah. You like it? He loves oh, Lego. Good. Yeah. I graduated 14 years old. So did you make these? Yeah, with this machine. This is a role play. But this is the same 3D printing technology. Mm. But the All the components were the ones with a 3D printer. Well, wow. pretty neat. You can see these layers here. You can, you can see like how, these layers. how you can see them made the uh, complex shapes with a 3D yeah, printer technology.
decision means so two trains cannot come into the same yeah. segment. So typically you just have these connected to the segment of the, uh, of the station. And so the train comes in, the power goes to the overhead line. What is it, Caleb? Uh, a, a helmet from the U.S. Army. Sure. Okay. Yes. <laughs> is that what the soldiers wear? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of gear that goes on the helmet as well, so this is yeah. just a base. Look, it looks like they can put a camera here and then like lights and all kinds of attachments on it. They probably could put eyepieces for infrared. And... Let's see how heavy it is. Well, that's got to be five or ten pounds. Uh, how much does this weigh? Around two kilograms. That, that goes on your chest? Yeah. It's a chest plate. We have wedges in the back. Yeah. Side. No, and this is nothing. A lot of gear goes on the helmet as well for the actual. So that'll stop bullets, you guys. You see all these sniper bullets. Sniper bullets, yeah. Would, would you rather carry that around and get shot? Yeah. <laughs> I just think they're probably carrying 50 pounds of gear, those some of those soldiers. Or more. It goes under the helmet, Kato. Next you'll see some dynamic compression. So what we do is we subject these materials, material systems, which these uh, stuff are made of. We uh, subject them to experiments like this, and we see how these materials fail. But once we see that, if we identify the parameters that are uh, responsible for failure, we can control them during manufacturing and make the material better. So in a way, yeah, we make better body. Thank you.
Pretty neat, Caleb. Flight simulator. Controls that Like your engineering expo? Look at Casey over there. She's being a victim. Huh? Casey, let's go. Carolina, what did you like best about the engineering expo? 